because it was scheduled for that time, even though there's nobody here for it. So. Um, at 7.30, we have a continued um, public hearing for 111 New Report Turnpike Artistic Landscapes, LLC. Anthony Hurley um, is a proponent. Um, we, I received a notification from Anthony Hurley and, and in conversations with our you know, review agent, re review engineer Larry Graham, that they, we, I need a vote just to continue it uh, because of some modifications that they're doing on the, their original plan that we were so close to, as you know, coming to a, a point where we could do a draft decision on that. Mm -hmm. But at this point, it's been continued, um, and the date I'm looking at is the 20th of November. Anyone? I'll, I'll make a motion to. This is a continuation of the special permit from the site plan review. So if I have a motion, I move to continue the public hearing until November 20th. Can I have someone at least write down the motion? <laughs> we have a DVD, but we need at least 7:30. Oh yeah, it's 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 <laughs> That's the only thing. That's the only really. We only need two motions tonight. That's okay. Right. I don't do this kind of. I'll have a second on that. I'll second. Second, second by Steve. Motion by Cliff Pierce. Steve Cassio is second for continuation of uh, public hearing for 111 New Report. Turn plan. All in favor? All right. Uh, opposed? It's unanimous. Uh, so 730 on the uh, 20th of November. Uh, secondly, we're having an informal uh, discussion by Chip Nutter for Woodman Associates in New Report regarding the Institution for Savings uh, Special Permit and Site Plan Review regarding an addition to the building. And um, we can also help them make sure that the goal is to get the application in uh, so it can be advertised um, in the town common next Friday. So the application would have to be complete and stamped in by um, next Wednesday because that's when we have to get the chance. I do. Thanks, David, for coming. There's no doubt about it. And all I ask is uh, just introduce yourselves and your position. And um, so mine's right down. And Hi, uh, my name is Chip Nutter, an architect. You, <laughs> you want to come to the table? Do you have anything to show? Oh, us? yes, I do. Yeah. Um, but this is Kim Rock yeah, of the Institute for Savings and Charlie Ware, Meridian Associates. What I brought is um, I took a shot at a complete application for um, modification to site plan, site plan review, site plan review and a modification to an existing special permit. So um, if you would, I'd, I'd love, appreciate if you guys could take a look at these documents. I know there's, there's quite a few things I look at right away. And that's that same situation where we're, we're really good, you know, we really have a new special permit. And I did bring a set of larger scale drawings because what I really wanted to show you is the extent of what we're trying to do. That's fine. So then could I lay them out on the table? Sure. Whatever you wish, I'll put them up. Um, I didn't bring an easel or anything like that. Well, sometimes you can clip them. The only advantage of that, well, it's informal. I mean, at the public hearing, we put them up so people on TV can see them. Uh, but at this point, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I, I told you. Yeah, it'll work. That's fine. That's not right because these are so. This is the um, record site plan. We have no plans right now to change the footprint of the building. What our intent is <coughs> the canopy over the drive throughs, um, our intent is to build an addition to the building over that. So, these are just the larger scale drawings that show us the existing second floor with the existing canopy over the drive through lanes. And what we'd be proposing is to build a new one-story addition on the top of that, housing three offices. We're going to be losing an office right here. For the pass-through? Pass yeah, for the pass-through, we'll be able to add a closet and a storage room, which they sorely need. This is uh, the new roof plan. Roof plan. And these I went through 
you have copies of these in your uh, mm -hmm. your set in our package. Okay. Yeah. Um, these are existing elevations. It's probably driven by it a few times. It's a good idea what it looks like. And that's the, the canopy itself. And okay, so this would be looking from away from the river. From the river is that what's over there? There's the existing canopy, which remains the same, and our new addition on top of it. And when we get to the north elevation, this is what you see from Haverhill Street on top of the existing canopy. There's our new building with it. We took the same kind of um, railing balustrade that's sitting on top there, and we're going to move it up a little bit higher on top of this. Yep. And this will blend in with the existing building. The intent is to make it look like it was always part of the original building. And then I also have a, a rear elevation that you see just from behind the building. That's like the viewers. And that's the Chinese built out over here. We are. That's what I thought. So, so similar. Yeah, right. We're actually, it's um, over the drive up, there's actually just the canopy. But then on the entrance side, we actually have um, a second floor. Right. Mm -hmm. And even in the other one, too, over by the wire. Uh, the wire. So there's a drive through, so there's drive -through, drive -through but there's actually nothing above it. Oh, it's actually just okay. a clock tower above it. Okay. Yeah, they don't have the second floor. Right. That it's right. probably worth noting that the, um, even when you see two new offices, what, there isn't really a plan to increase the staff level. It's, it's the plan is, right now, they've got people sharing offices. I mean, just want to be able to get people that are in offices. So. They're not intended to increase the staff. Yeah, and you can see the existing office that's being taken out. That has two people that's in it. That's correct. Not only are we putting somebody else, but it's, it's a little crowded in there. So we just wanted to get this in front of you and take a look at the application because I wasn't quite sure was, what kind of language to use. There's no real something in the zoning regulations about exactly what you call a modification to a special permit or site plan approval. So I added the word modification to the top of the application sheets for each of those. Try to cite the right sections. Um, Charlie pointed something out about um, section 6.4.2 has been. Yeah, some of the, the applications aren't completely up to speed. Right. Um, but I pointed, it's the flood section about uh, flood plan. Actually, no, it's the section on the drive-through. The section that we originally got. To they have a drive-through. They have a drive-through. The reason we have a special permit at all the bank is allowed by right. right. The drive-through is why we have the special permit. Right. That's correct. And the number that was referenced in the original is not the, is not the, is not the reference. Um, that did change. So also, the uh, there were two uh, permits originally that used to be required by the selectmen. Yeah, I'm looking down. One was one was the. Uh, and we can. This is a good time to talk about that too. One was the um, what they call the soil suitability, which that has been deleted from the zoning completely. The other was the floodplain, which, if I'm reading it right, is has in the in the selectmen did grant a permit for this for work within the established floodplain. That has now been um, the the permitting authority on that is now the planning board. Right. So That's correct. I had a discussion with them. Um, so it's kind of an interesting. Gee, what do, what do we do about this permit? Um, I had a good discussion with um, Kenny Wood today, who did, and everything I'm about to say at the very end of it, he said was, but talk to the planning board about it, and you can let them know what my opinion is. We talked about three options. One option is the permit was originally granted by the selectmen. We could return to the selectmen and ask them to amend the permit. Another option, and Kenny said this is the option that he agreed with, was that this addition is way above the floodplain and there's no change to the to the um, elevation on the surface. So he he believes we don't need any change or any action regarding the floodplain. The third option would be to request this board um, amend the amend the decision that selectman as the permanent authority now would be to amend. The, the original decision, special the, the, yeah, the original special permit to select. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not sure how that really works. But again, Kenny's position was, was he didn't think any action was needed at all. But he was deferring to this board. He was saying, what, what, whatever this board wants is how we should do it. 
But he said you could let him know what my opinion is on that. Because that would cut out one layer of... It, w it would cut out one more. <clears throat> yeah, I actually uh, was thinking that before you even said that that was his, his uh, favorite option, the, the middle one. Second the middle one, yeah. Um, because you are not doing... Right. So we were not altering the, the flood plan at all. Right. Unless the flood plan is very high. <laughs> in which case you're <laughs> yeah, in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> so no, they, so I mean that I think is the obviously it's the best option for the bank as well. But um, so that's kind of my position on that. Yeah, I mean the banks Well we had an opinion from that from the town council, actually not not about this project, but about the uh, bridges. Um, they, they built on Wethersfield Street, mm -hmm. and she, she, her opinion was, uh, if, if, there, if something did not, did not uh, result in a significant <coughs> encroachment on the floodplain, I can't or alteration. I can't right. In this certain the terminology she used, that then you, the board has the discretion uh, not to require a special permit, or in this case, a modification of a special permit. Right. So well, we have to make that determination. Um, and I remember we had we remember Jane we voted on that that right. we would, wouldn't require a special right. process. So we could just make a request and right. you could, you'd yeah. could issue a finding. Right. So and that would give Kenny some, some paper to Yeah. 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 Okay. And give you some paper. Too. And I think in, um, <laughs> exactly. in our potential decision down the road it would clean it up and, and also bring it up to date in terms of the uh, you know, administering authority on that. Uh, you'll just have to deal with uh, your insurance company. I'm sure you have flight insurance. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. <laughs> they don't give it away anymore, do they? <laughs> so it's only it's 650 square feet, and because our rules and regs require them to, when going for a special permit, to uh, also approve the site plan, that's why there's both mm -hmm. there. I mean, Charlie, you just, I mean, it's, it's really... Uh, a uh, minimal expansion, but assuming uh, that the bank was hiring new staff for these new offices, do you think there, there would be any need for additional parking, or is the parking well, that's the only question I would ask? You know? In the long run, we are we d are proposing to come back to try to get some additional parking mm -hmm. in the future. It'd be to be completely transparent about it, but we would like to get. And we've met with the conservation commission about possibly expanding the park around the back. And we've gotten positive feedback from them um, about that. But we would like to get started with this portion of the project. We figure the, the best way to do it is expanding, just expanding the parking is going to take a harder look. You know, Larry's going to want to look at the, 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 the drainage calculations. And right, the right. So we're kind of looking at it that to expedite the process. And we feel that the parking is we want to do this project regardless of regardless of the parking. So, and, and it's a good point that if we, you know, perhaps you could, you could put a condition on that there's no, um, that there'd be no increase in the, in the, you know, staffing, current staffing right. levels, and that would protect you okay. against, and then when we come, hopefully later in December, we'll be in with the expansion right. of the parking lot, and then, but like I said, that's going to be a little bit longer because Larry's going to get it bite at that apple because we'll have to go through the hydrology again. Right. Yeah, I've talked to Larry because so because the hydrology everything works now. It would have to be reconfigured. Right. Um, there's some pretty complex drainage. Correct. Um, grading. Right. <laughs> you know, and it swells and, and it works. And yeah, no, except it does for the work. most extreme conditions, even in an area that you wouldn't <laughs> anticipate it to work because. I remember when the restaurant was there. I remember we, I, I guess I remember it, that even Mother's flooded day. one Mother's time. Day. Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it actually, what, what I did, day. one of the we whatever you did works. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Well, it, you know, it's yeah. funny because yeah. sometimes just common sense kicks in. You yeah. know, we could we could do all kinds of calculations all day long, but at the end of the day, what we did was is at the height of the Mother's Day storm, and the water, you know, the the culvert completely blocked. You know, we, there was nothing, for, I don't know if you know the story, how, but how the, mm -hmm. the DPW guys that went down and dove in and started pulling out. And that, you know, what, what did it run over the road for three or four days? Mm -hmm. it, was, yeah. it was unbelievable, I never saw anything like it. And the road was closed for three or four days. And the, the DPW guys that were, that were working, that were diving on, um, down in Ipswich on the Choke Bridge, got sick of driving around it. So they finally just dove in and started pulling material out of, the, out of there <laughs> to get it. 
and uh, I forget there was, there was a guy down there pumping, and it was just it was unbelievable. We went down and measured the high water, and I designed the bank to be a foot above the high water. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you can do all the calcs in the world. The calcs. That was the time to measure. There was the time to measure. Right? Was yeah. the time to measure. <laughs> um, you know, my calculations were telling me that the building could have been much lower. Right. You know, because it, it was, they were back to back. Mother's Day storm was literally back to back, 100 year storms, two days in a row. Right. There's so, been a lot of discussions, you know, this week about oh, airing on the conservative side. Right. So there was just a lot of yeah. common sense right. that went into mm -hmm. where, to where that elevation mm -hmm. is now. So the water's got to come up a long ways in order for this building to have a flood. I feel pretty, as the engineer, I feel pretty good about it. So. And it would it'd probably be six months from today if, if before this thing would be completed. Uh, talking about five month construction oh, period. Yeah. So we're way down the line. Uh, there's plenty of time to work on those other issues. Well, if you don't mind that condition, then. Uh, no, I think we could do that condition. I mean, I'd just be concerned if, for example, Larry would have said, gee, the parking is already tight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, you know, the, maybe they should add a few spaces. But if, no, but we're, we're planning on adding, like, what, I think, what are we up to, 10 or 12? Right. Or it's something along those lines. Yeah. But we're, we're planning on adding where the, around the back, we're, we're thinking of, because you only have parking on the inside. We're thinking about putting parking on the outside and adjusting the drainage. We've already kind of done some preliminary numbers on it. And like I said, we ran it. I was more concerned with it. I, I, I didn't think this board would be too concerned with adding it, um, you know, as long as the drainage worked. I was more concerned with the Conservation Commission mm -hmm. because that's a riverfront area. And this, right. this, it's a very complicated kind of permitting piece. Mm -hmm. So I did <laughs> run it by them. And, they were they were appointed. We had a very good discussion. They they said, well, what about this way? You know, we went round and round and round. And at the end of the day, I think they were convinced that we didn't really have too many options other than you know, expanding in that direction. And they gave us. They obviously haven't approved it yet, but they gave us the blessings that said that you know, if you can come in and show that the numbers work on on the hydrology, mm -hmm. that they, they would be inclined to approve it. Yeah. So, so we're potentially modifying the site. The uh, special permit and reviewing the site plan and, and I guess the premise here is that there's no change. There's no change at this time right. to the site plan whatsoever. Not so even you really one. Need to not even one tiny little. You, yeah. you could issue an amendment so that just says that you approve it, subject to not it, no increase in the in the. Um, which which you have in here? You have the existing condition. I think you have um, eight right. employees and. Uh, 10 customer, potential yeah. customers at the bank at once, so you have 18 spaces. But I just want to be clear as far as that, the 8 and the 10 are the parking spaces. We currently have, and it's actually on the new application, we currently have 12 employees there. So I know at the original application it stated that we expected to have 8 back when we opened in 2007, but we have 12 now. Mm -hmm. Is the, are they there all the time or is there overlapping? Um, there's a couple that actually overlap, and the commercial lending department comes and goes because they do a lot of, you know, out so of office. So there's not 12 commercial lending at any time. Correct. Correct. Right. So right. I think that's where we got to. That's the kind of the yeah. net, the half okay. is, the average is probably more. Well, yeah, that's, that was one of the questions about the application because it's under parking spaces. We start out total number, 18, then it says employees, there were eight right. customers, 10. So we put down the same numbers because there still are eight employee spaces. And I think these kind of waivers, work better in places where you know the average stay time in a bank parking space is not very long mm -hmm. only a few might be there for a long time or filling that up or working with customer mm -hmm. service but we just say the average person goes in there doesn't hang out no so there's a lot of turnover i mean the turnover frequency correct which mm -hmm. makes those kind of sites work other right. certain retail no, other, mm -hmm. yeah it's the banks you come to go if it was strictly office or retail, it may not work at all. <coughs> you might hang around if you get the loan. Or residential. We went through this down the center of town, remember? We were discussing the mix. Doctors' with, offices. Yeah, the mix with residential. Yeah. Dentists are good. Doctors, they never are on time. You get all the are people are, um, Chris, or <laughs> is that, anybody have any questions on the application? And you still have time. I mean, people can... Um, you know, I guess email me separately, I guess. I shouldn't want to do it that way, but if you have, you don't have a planner. Give any comments into the selectmen. <laughs> now, what, is there anything we can do to help with The selectmen are doing, they're doing pretty good. Okay. So they're the, they're the so point people now, and, and Amy. 
So I mean, they were getting right back to me. They're being like a surrogate planner type people. So that they're all set to him. him they know. The you give me anything, you ask me any cards. Yeah, it yeah. gets right to me. And then I guess the, the next thing is if we do meet on the 20th and the, and the board is inclined to approve, is we'd like to try to get a decision as quickly as possible. Can we help craft that or anything like that? Well, I mean, I mean, the decision's going to be pretty yeah, straight ahead. This is pretty straightforward. Right. Does anybody see any, like, that's why we're here tonight. So, oh, well, Larry, you're right. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, in addition to in speaking with Ken Ward, I, I asked him, I said, would the bank be able, he would you be able to start reviewing the permit drawings during the appeal period if, if it was approved? And even if you had, were, had the chance to approve them, would we even be able to start construction if it was still during the appeal period? He said, well, I'll just leave that up to the planning board. You should have that discussion with them. It's usually at your own peril. It's, it's, it's your own peril. peril. Yeah. Only because I, it, if anybody does appeal, then obviously Certainly. Right. But, yeah. but even if we could I, just get the drawings into him to start his review, it may take him a, a few weeks to. Yeah, no, he usually takes a yeah, few weeks. He's willing to do that if we, if we say we, if we close it, he'll take a drawing. If we but close we, it. Oh, right. right. The point is, we'd love to walk away with, with a decision on the 20th, if possible. Obviously, we, we yeah. don't get asked for right. it if you I mean, can't do it. Well, I, mean, I, I think we could probably vote on it, but whether you get a written decision or not, I mean, yeah. I mean, if Larry, Larry can do you're it, gonna get, yeah. when you get your application, and we have to get it right to Larry, and just and, uh, and we could even if he's, if, if we may be so bold, it's we could craft a, a draft decision. You can do that, and Larry. And that's fine. Yep. Let Larry, you know, do some of Larry's work for him. Uh, and then, I don't, you know, I don't have a problem with that. It happens in other towns, and you know what does. No, I know it happens all the time. It happens, yeah. and without a pl without having a planner in place, um, right? That's right. fine. And it should be a pretty straightforward decision. It can reference the initial decision, and yeah, and as long as we have it, uh, you know, well enough that it yeah, we can't have it that night. No, 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 no. I would suggest I'm, I was going to suggest maybe. Finally, with the application. Yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> I didn't. 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 All right, next order of business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it'll be helpful. Charlie, that's fine. Okay. Does anybody have any problem with that? No, file file with the application. Yeah. So there's nothing you need us to do as far as the legal notice or the abutters list or anything like that? No, I'll get the legal notice written up as soon as I have the I don't have any problem yeah. architecturally. That, you know, can it be so tough to begin with, um, as you well know, to get them to look good? So she this is no worse than the canopy the that's approval there on the building. Yeah, that's Bank canopy so <laughs> difficult. Yeah. It's Probably. not a bad looking canopy as it is. Um, this is more like the the canopy that we ended up with in the Topsfield branch. There's, there's no, a structure. Jeff Davis is an architect, one. that's why. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> yes, they're telling well, I've done a few banks and the canopy is the most difficult part of the whole process. Uh, that wasn't my canopy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my solution to their canopy. Claim it. Their canopy. Can claim it. This was no, the original. Yeah, right. it was right. plan ahead or right. somebody else. Right. Yeah, what were they? It was royal, royal, design. royal design. Yeah, but you know they had you know copper on top of the you know the baluster baluster posts and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, it's already went. This is actually Charlie. Pretty I would shoot to get it in on Monday. Well, we'll shoot to. Get yeah, it in well, I'll tell you why. Only because yeah, I want to be able to get some breathing room. That's fine. That's I why I get this whole. We're going to help you out and get the butters. It's like and, you know. Right, and you will one hand wash. I need to send out the notices. Yeah. We'll, we'll do our best. Nine to get the ad in. Two, two consecutive Fridays. Yeah, I think so. Two consecutive Fridays is next Friday. And then the one after that, and the 20th, is, would be the meeting. Because it has to be in two consecutive weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, this is ours, too. If they, so yeah. if they miss next Friday, obviously, then they'll be put off to a meeting in December sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, that's, so Monday would be good. You know, Monday, if Monday afternoon, just so you get the, um, the thing written up because I really need to get it to them on Wednesday. Yeah. Look at it. It's Friday, right? If the language in this right. stuff is, is yeah. good. I think we can get it on Friday. Right. Anybody on the phone? If it's okay. I, I hate to put you on the spot. You don't know. Yeah. No, it's stuff. fine. I, we, I mean, there's like two phases here, and this is something that, um, you know, Ken's doing his job. We just want to do our job to help you out. So no, Ken was great. He was, so, you know, he directed us right to this board and gave us good. You know. So we would do the standard application. Um, I don't even know how many copies that is. Is that nine so copies? Nine, nine, nine of these no, copies? No, we don't need nine anymore, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Well, I thought it gets destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 all because of the yeah. police yeah. department. Yeah. Yeah. So the but we usually give them, sometimes we give them the small ones. Whatever you don't need, you don't need all the big ones. I think the small ones are fine. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, then even about all big ones for us? Not really. I, I just brought yeah. these because it, it's much easier yeah. to see. But yeah, because we're going towards it. Who knows to the meeting? How many meetings? Yeah. So, how want? many meetings? Are, yeah, there you go. We need, we need one, two, three. Two, one, yeah. five. Yeah. Three? We need three yeah. sets of large big ones. Yeah. drawings. Just and the rest can just be yeah. 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 small. Okay, so I'll do the complete package, nine. And then I'll have three complete we'll sets make sure of the these. Fire right? We'll make sure the fire, police, uh, highway, they all get them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, okay. The Sounds vepers, great. We do, yeah, we do disseminate to I, I took the opportunity to print on both sides of the page there, too, because okay. I just know how many of these things just get tossed. Yeah. No, I'm trying to say, so I have people used to do all big plans. I mean, yeah, I, won't so I, was, I won't even go there. If that's okay. So, I, I well, sometimes we don't look at the back side of the page. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a problem with both sides? <laughs> it's only on the small sheets on the front. That's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so three big ones. The drawings, you like nice. to compare them. Like, then I can do the drawings. Single. Single, yes. Highway, highway, fire, water, police. Yes, okay. I have a full water, file cabinet of this stuff. Yeah, 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 um, any other questions or to the just to scale? Just to scale? Um, because you may have some people who are going to scale off. Unless well, there's a bar scale on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I can have a graphic scale on mine. My 11 by 17 should come out. Each scale, right? At 50 percent, yeah, because that's the way I've sized my yeah uh, 24 by 36, but it doesn't always work out perfect. Shop talk. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know oh, what you really oh, need. Oh, I got a big machine that sometimes you can't figure it out. Why am I doing it? Any other questions? No, it's informed. It's no. Informed. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure they want to know if their application is all right uh, to file. Uh, they already have gotten the abutters list. We'll get stamped. You know, the selectmen select, uh, are very helpful to help us get the abutters notices out. and. Uh, it's just that these are the deadlines that have to be made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank so we should. Go Sox. Go Sox. Go Bruins. That's all there is too. Well, we're all spoiled. We're going to see every time. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, Charles. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right here, easy ride out of Boston. I was up your office the other day, Charles. Were you? Yeah. So we, somebody left their uh, field book. Oh, they lost it in the parking garage in Boston. And Sarah found it. Oh, that was good. And she's trying to study the power plant lo location for her thesis in Sarah. Oh, nice. Rick said, yeah, well, we're working on it. Yeah, we did some work on it. Yeah. So have her come back. Well, she's uh, Don, I met him in the lobby. He was coming back from the Providence or something. Yeah, yeah. He said, um, uh, I'll drop a note over to the COO of Footman. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. That prize would be fantastic. Yeah. 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 They didn't change the She's getting a master's in landscape architecture. Studying big stuff. Just great. No little flower gardens in the background. Good to see well, you. Yeah, me too. Take care there. We need to have a covenant. And uh, tomorrow to um, amend the format. And we asked them for a status in the work. Mm. Their goal is to <coughs> look into this one now for people to sign stuff. We need three signatures. Their goal is to get the road approved. Um, by the 2015 spring meeting. Um, Who is that? This is Wild Pastures Estate Subdivision. Um, as you know, Regnati, the, uh, their council, has prepared this uh, modification. Well, basically, it's just um, amending the four maps, which was the original tripartite agreement, and then also release of uh, one covenant. Uh, lots 1, 2, and 30 remain subject to a covenant. As the covenant is secured by the tripartite, my client would like the covenant released. Lots 1 and 2 have existing homes in them and were included in the covenant because the driveway is fronted on the new road. 
My client anticipates commencing construction on lot 30 in early 2014. Accordingly, enclosed is released and covered. The reason why I don't have a problem with it because I'm concerned they want two years, but I don't want this for the sake of the neighbors, you know, the abutters, to have this project drag on for five years. Right, well, they only have three lots to finish. Right. Move along. I would like, if they are, can keep going and get some of them sold and they can keep this project and keep momentum, then it can be a very good project because we spent a lot of time coming up with, um, what, a decent plan on this one. Right. Um, yeah. I think so. So that's why. Um, the work remains to be Well, Jim, Jim call, uh, actually called me, Jim George Locke. Well, good. And, uh, yeah. He, he wants to actually uh, get it approved next fall, um, the fall town meeting. And I said, well, we don't always have a fall town meeting. So I think he put in here, he put the following spring. Right, and that's what the lawyer thought realistically. Right. She was being realistic. He was being a little bit optimistic. Because, as you know, you have to have your stuff uh, you know, months months ahead, you know. We've never had an issue with uh, this development at all. It's just that they got caught up in the bad economy. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, they they were approved just as the economy was heading south. Yeah. Tough uh, to get finance. I mean, just if you wanted to finance what you need to do. Yeah. And so you know, we have we have uh, adequate, adequate money, and uh, you know, to, but I don't think we're ever going to need it because you know, I just it's just is this what they hold in right here? What's amount here? The three forty six. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like that. And he claims he's done some work, uh, but even though he's done some significant work, he's not ask, asking for a reduction of the amount. Right. Well, I'm off, you know how we don't buy some of the whole lot of it. The last that he described last night is not there, you know. Right. That's how I feel. Yeah, I thought, yeah. And we just get caught with so many disco shows. That's the bond. Right. right. But, but actually, um, I just make sure I have the original code. Under the MGL, once you get an adequate price part time, you're supposed to release the covenants. Oh, yeah. um, that's only, the covenants is only one form of security. I mean, but we, we've like tried to have two forms. Just to show you. <laughs> 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 but you said that we're going to be able to get the form of No, they're already been on. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's what we're yeah. signing tonight, okay. along with the covenant one, which I don't think I gave you a copy of that one. The covenant language. So. The co yeah, the covenant release, the covenant, um, this typical covenant language. Do you have any problem with the covenant language? No. Right? no. That's what I want to say. Um, it's pretty legalese, as we know, but basically we, we don't, we're not, as Cliff was saying, it's not designed to encumber the lot. You know? No. Right. said I thought we spent a ton of time on this. Mm -hmm. Well I need three here's the original. Um, we're si we're signing it. I already made arrangements to um, get a notarized that they're right on the way to work for me so uh, I need everybody's here so she has no trouble with adding a line if all five of us want to do it. And so there's just this one copy of it, and then that's this is from my notes, so I forget that one. And then there's only one other one signed here. That's so a combined vote or a single vote? Combine, combine. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll move that we uh, grant the extension of the tripartite. And so we'll I'll say which date. Right? Um, Till November 1st, 2015. Right. And the release of the remaining uh, three lots on the covenant. I have a second? Second. Second by David. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. Okay. And it already has been, the original came, uh, was notarized already by David. This is the originals that need to be signed, so. I'm just going to get This is, you're going to have to get this off the cake. <laughs> Game time, 8.30? 8.07, but they don't start at 8.07. There's pitch in. I like the game that started at 7.30, because the game was over like about 11.15. I am short on sleep. Yeah, I was sitting. 
eating lunch and I fell asleep. You know, <laughs> you know they, were they had a big talk show about that about yeah. all the people that were here. I think it was sleep deprivation. Seventeen percent more accidents. <laughs> <laughs> that was on, uh, but nothing affected the West Coast. You that's that's absolutely absurd. I think you get a better show watching TV anyway. You're missing the party, but. Yeah, there should be a law against that, as far as I'm concerned. Against what? The prices of the tickets. What for? What? The World Series. See what people are paid. It's on secondary market. The yeah, average, I mean, uh, it, the average sign is two grand a ticket, even for I mean, crappy yeah, standing room. Season ticket owners, you could. There weren't. Any, you could have got a season ticket thing oh, early this spring. I know. Yeah. <laughs> there was nobody. It, the place wasn't even full. Yeah. yeah. Well, there were, there were some tickets for sale now. There's been people in line for a day now. Okay. 1918, the last time we had a World yeah. Series, there was 300 people in the stands. No, what are you saying last time? Is it, is it no, 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 the last oh, time they oh, had a oh, World oh, Series oh, in Frenchman right. was the end of it. 300 people. Really? Baseball was not a big deal That's back in 1918, line. and there was a war going on. Oh. Did this go with that paper I just gave to you? There's only one, and everybody else has to sign that one. Oh, this one. Oh, here it comes. I thought I should sign that because I was on that project. You were the original signatory, right? On this form, that's it. Do I have to sign that one? There's only three of us. There's only three of us. Yeah. Is that for the, uh, the Mustang's basket? Okay. Yeah, the original. Am I supposed to sign this one too? You remember, right? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Cliff, you, you, you Cliff, did, yeah, you, Cliff. did you sign this tonight? I guess I did. Come on, man, just sign the original. All right, I have everybody's. Right. I have everybody's here. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, you had to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get your back pay? Yeah, we're all good. Then you're stupid. The government gave you a vacation. Yeah, essentially. Uh, this one was my original cover page. Where's the original Red Nagy cover page? Is it there with her signature? Anybody, anybody snarfing on me? No, I've got no. copies. Oh, you it's, oh, it's here. The original cover page. Oh, is this it? Is it right here? Just trying to keep up. Thank you. No. Just trying to keep it all together. <coughs> all right. Just uh, the correspondence. Is, this took a long time to. Um, finally, for the. Um, this is dated October twenty second. Um, regarding uh, the Department of Housing and Community Development for the. LIP program coordinator, remember Mr. George Olakis also had to uh, get in for the affordable housing units and go through that process for the Raleigh Village Green condominium. The Raleigh Board of Selectmen voted on their October 21st meeting to authorize Chairman Robert Snow to sign the local action units application for the two housing units located at the Raleigh Village Green condominiums. So that has worked its way through in concert with the state. So he's done his job. Remember the he yeah. he he did it. Right. So. Oh, good. And Katrina helped him through it, and uh, it's in the hands now. Uh, Jan Janice Lesniak, the lit program coordinator. So those are the two affordable units in the condominium. Did you want to change those? Right. Just the order of when he, right. which buildings. Is, 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 is that what that is for? To change the order? No. No. Just so. No. No. Right. This is the application. <laughs> so. Yeah. To place a, a deed restriction on. Oh, okay. That's what well, well, that's well, what paperwork that goes with it. Just so it's all state form. Right. You know, we have to, oh, by the time it gets the record, it's usually one hour or another confused and the other words are recorded. Uh, <laughs> does anybody have an issue with uh, public hearing for 
Richfield, blah, 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 Salisbury. Finding relief from sections constructed a single family home on Nine Hutchins Road. Nobody lives near that. A dimensional setback in Newbury, Hutchins. Anybody have them? Nope. Mm -hmm. it's, it's our, our right to make comments on these things. The same thing on um, the bank one. I have to send that to the adjacent towns too. Mm -hmm. So that's the only correspondence I have. Good. Um, the last thing is the minutes. Have people looked at them? Yeah. I've got some changes. I thought so too. I thought you might when I looked at them. Yeah. I, 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 so. I was a little rough on the edge of some of them. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I, did. I think it was your last <coughs> one here. Huh? I think it was your last one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, um, no. You're sick too? Jesus. I'm sick. Yeah. Oh, you? I'm, I'm, not sick. I'm, not sick. I'm not sick. No, yeah. I'm just starting to get a little. Uh, I just got over it. Please don't give it to me. <laughs> um, under residence at Rowley oh, Country Club. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Well, well first, um, um, I think I we should um, um, reference the fact that Melissa Ogden is an attorney. So it's an attorney, Melissa Ogden. Um, and then I just have a question about the amount because it says that the amount of the tripartite is one hundred fifty-five thousand. And then it says Graham recommends the addition of twenty-three thousand and two thousand, and then down at the bottom it says that the total amount approved was one hundred fifty-five. So it makes it sound like uh, like Larry rec recommended that we increase it by twenty-three thousand, but that we didn't do that and we kept it at the original amount. No, so we totally agree. No, because yeah. of the work that was done. So. I, and that and that 20, uh, 25,000 is included in the one fifty five. Well, that's what, yeah, right. right. But it's not so clear from the way it's right. right. So <coughs> I mean, you could Graham notes that the uh, that, that that amount includes an addition of something some to that effect. Or you can, yeah, Larry uh, which is inclusive of the uh, after developer is right, which uh, is inclusive of the amounts recommended for the additional. No, I don't think so. 23,000 remaining landscape. Yeah. I mean, just, just do, uh, no. which is the loose end. You're going to have me add another. Okay, good, okay. I'll, I'll look at it with this. Um, so, you want to, the amount of share vote is. It's really so funny. It shouldn't have gone to 180? The, the right, right. That, that was my point. Yeah. Right. But it includes the 23. No, because the 25, if you looked at what we went over in the meeting, I remember that. We went over it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Larry had said that um, was stuff that was already done. It's, it's the way it's worded. It actually ended up being an increase. <laughs> but it's not worded to reflect that. Um, you still looking at that? I would just delete that. Talk to Larry. Just delete that thing. Well, you can do that if you want. Because Larry's report's part of the record already, right? right. Yeah. Okay. So what are we And these doing? amounts are just delete that thing. Well, then you have to delete the next sentence, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it says these amounts. Right. Yeah, okay. because that's. Um, Already, that's kind of redundant, anyways. Right. <laughs> Next. Next. Right. Um, in the discussion, I'm uh, skipping over to the second page, and it's the market bas basket uh, discussion. And um, there are a few um, problems. Uh, one, one of the problems that's it's, uh, made in several instances is. It refers to a minor modification to the special permit, and I think it should set a special permit. It should be the site plan because that's what was modified. The special permit wasn't modified at all. So, like in the third line, or yeah. references a minor, minor modification to the special. Third permit. line from the top on the second page. Right, that's site plan. Site <coughs> site plan. And um, this that happens again at least two times that's in the okay. next paragraph, and. Um, you see it said Pierce adds that other towns such as Ipswich and then 
at the end of that line, modifications can be done to special permits. And I know what I said was site plans, not special permits. And then at the second to the last line of deciding that, which that same paragraph, um, in deciding which site plan changes. Anywhere where it says. And then, yeah, where basically, and then the, fir where it says special permit. the first line of the final paragraph of that discussion, yeah, same thing. Special, per change special permit to uh, site plan modification, and then again on the third line of that paragraph, and then again, again on the second to the last line. Which one? The second to the last line of the final paragraph. It has to be changed three times. The final paragraph? Brian asked for a motion. Okay, I guess that's okay. Um, that's fine. Brian motions to hold a public hearing for the market basket special permits. Record. But <coughs> no, second no, no, not for the market basket. That's wrong. Who wrote that? Maybe yeah. <laughs> for the for the modification. Yeah, right. That, that's it. Is it should be modification. Site, site plan modifications would be good. For the... the site plan modifications... <coughs> for modification of the market basket special permit and site plan and special permit because they went together at that time. And, the okay. yeah, fine. and then the second to the last yes. line instead of special permit modification should be site plan modifications. And um, I don't know if I should uh, get too upset about this, but in the this first full paragraph, um, talking about something I said, and it says that I ruminated. <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> Maybe true. I don't know. Kind of strange. It sounds like a rowley. <laughs> so I would say just put it put it in neutral terms and say he no questioned or stated, or stated, that, or stated yeah. that the planning board must have and it should be must have been aware of the location. Oh, I guess we're aware. Um, and and instead of knew that the trees would have to be taken down, it maybe be it's better to say should have known that the trees would have to be taken down. I don't know if it's not a big deal. It's been like the word ruminate. Yeah, I know. No, stupid. No, no, stated in that trace. You don't even put no. Yeah. Yeah. No one's redundant too. You just put stated and keep and that trees would have to be taken down. Right. Okay. Right. No, they got uh, vented. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Trina put that to that? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't think maybe she didn't do it. Did you hear the word ruminate? I'll have to bring that up with her next time I see her. No, no. also. Um, <laughs> Cut that in there. Uh, Excuse me, I'm way out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> As he usually does. You know. <laughs> that's it, Cliff? That, that's all I have. <laughs> Nothing on the last page? No, no there was another thing in here, like, you used the word certain, certain site plan modifications in certain cases. I mean, that's like, that's like the government, that's like, you know, that's like hearing, that's like a press conference, <laughs> you know? Only listen in on certain cases and certain subjects. <laughs> Any other comments on those? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes as modified. And I will have to uh, second. I'll get on the computer and put it in because I have them on draft. So, so unless anyone else wants to do it, no, no, I can't say I've done. I've seconded. All those in favor? I mean, I'll, I, I mean, I'll do it, but it will be a while before I do it. That's fine. You're huh? at least. If, you <laughs> you did. if, I, if I'm you doing did. the notary and all the other running around, you Se can do send it to me. You did right. make the motion? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I second it. Yeah. Yeah. Seconded by David. I don't want to raise the All in the favor of approving <laughs> the minutes with the changes as uh, discussed? Aye. 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 It'll, be Aye. A, it'll be a couple of weeks. But. Well, we have a couple of weeks. 
Next. Right. Thank you, Cliff. No um, lastly, we um, we do have and people can contact me. The, uh, two myself and another planning board member. And then was it was it three? No. Can we have three? Usually for the interviews for the. No, two. We can have three. Yeah. It's a quorum. You have to hold a. No, I think we have one personnel, and then Debbie was a personnel. Off one personnel. Off uh, one personnel committee member, and then. Debbie, who was like personnel officer in the town. I thought she wanted five on the committee, so then three planning board members. Well, that would be a This would just to, to, I mean, inter to interview people? To narrow it down? I think so. Three so of us meet together. Did we have the last time? I'll, I'll volunteer. I'm in town. Did we have three last time? I'm saying yeah. that when you have to post the notice of the meeting, I yeah. Well, well we I'll contact. That's the kind of thing we're thinking about. To have a committee, and, what's and, what's and basically what we're doing. Is taking right now the 15 people. They do have experience. Uh, we have a number of people who have met the qualifications in the um, our job description that was advertised. Sorry. Municipal planning experience of three to four years, a master preferred, and we, we did have a number of uh, potentially qualified candidates that we need to narrow down uh, through this committee process. And then after we narrow it down, then of course we would have that public meeting. Hopefully within, hopefully within a month, you know, a month or by in by December, I have be able to interview and. So you interviewed at a public meeting. And we yes. do the final three. Yeah. Really. I went over the front. Yeah. yeah. It has uh, to be it. No. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Individually, or do they all get to sit here? In Individually. Them? Individually, okay. At least and then we'll there. actually remember. Well, then we have the process. We actually recommend, and we have our we rate them, and um, as you know, like last time, and then we. Uh, so all three of them are done in one night? No, what we need, the committee that I'm asking for, and I'll contact, you can just email me if you're interested, in, and as chairman, I'll make sure I have, whether it was two or three, and, but just if you're interested at all, just email me. I, just, I don't know. I'm interested. Um, I'm interested. Oh, okay. As I can, and if everyone is, then I'll have to choose. <laughs> uh, so, but, which is good, because, it's very interesting. I mean, I'll be looking. I would prefer that when we have the committee that, of course, anyone can, I think, look at the resumes, but I think it should be through the committee in a formalized process, you know, because um, that's, 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 it is person, personnel matters. Because I mean, you know what you're looking for more than, you know, what I would be thinking of. Because um, I'm still a little green as far as I'm concerned. No, but I think, remember, the full board is going to take, this is just yeah. to narrow down the field. You'll see uh -huh. the final yeah. right. I, I, I would trust and, uh, well, Cliff no, and David. Well, uh, you guys have been around. around. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm looking. I, and I like the fact that well, there's we, ladies on there. I have to deal with a lot of players. Yeah, yeah I bet. I, I, All right, so, was I you, Cliff, you yeah. are yeah. interested in genes potentially. So, uh, anyways, I'll set, that up. The, I'll set that up. I'll coordinate it. Um, so, it has to be done with people who can potentially meet during a business day. I can do that. Um, I think that's when, Street you know, business. Debbie and the personnel committee are available, that's all. Yeah. Kurt, uh, just for the audience out there, what, what happened, what, if somebody's looking for the town planner right now, where should they go? Where? They go to see the Selectman. Selectman secretary, right? Right, the administrative. Yeah. Assistant. Doreen or? Or, or, or Amy. 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 Yeah. Okay. They're coordinating and they are forwarding and collecting all the mail and collecting all of them. Good. Have uh, applications be cut, been cut off? I mean, there's no. Um, it's no still problem. filled. I mean, I think that's part of the committee. I mean, I, it's it is really really still open, but yeah. to urge people, you know, I don't think they would be turned away if they were mm -hmm. uh, truly qualified. But I think it's important on these kind of things to. Have the best candidates really think about it and, and realize there is a, a deadline. And this was advertised, thankfully, by. I mean, it's been up to I have to thank you know, select. I mean, uh, town administrator advertised it in all the professional databases and online mm -hmm. municipal services. I so it got out pretty wide. Uh, not just, just Google Raleigh Town so Planner, and you can, you'll end up. 
Yeah, so in that case, I think that's why we had, you know, you can look, we had a fairly, uh, a fairly good response, you know. Um, and then I just have them. There's no bill payables, no expense report. The next meeting is uh, the 20th of uh, uh, November. And uh, motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. You can have this sign. Thank you. Thanks, Nate.